here is going to be setting a little bit of a trap. Now, I've been coming through here at night time and I've been coming through the long grass and I know, I know there's something which is creeping about and I've been looking at the different scats and different footprints and I'm pretty sure we're on to bandicoots. Now, there are a couple of different species of bandicoots throughout Australia. There's eight different species which have been recognised. It's the northern bandicoot which I'm after which is endemic to this area up here in the Northern Territory just on the Daly River. When setting a trap, the best thing to do is you need to try and keep as much natural habitat around as possible so that way you can actually disguise the trap so that way it doesn't look like anything has been tampered. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove a couple of trees where I can set a bit of a net, put a line over this tree, over here, over to the other side of a rock, a weight, and when something is triggered from here, it pulls all the way up. Hopefully we can get something. I guess the biggest thing now is choosing the correct sort of bait to use on this sort of trap. And the only thing I can think of, which is going in the in the dietary needs of, of that of a bandicoot, would be that of crickets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch some crickets, I'm going to line them up, and I'm just going to get some line and just tie it around their neck, all the way around, all the way around, and hitch it to that line. So if any little pull, any little tug, this is going to just set this trap off, and with any luck, we're going to get ourselves a bandicoot. got his little razor sharp teeth. You're okay mate, you're okay. So there we go, that's the brown bandicoot here in the Northern Territory. Absolutely beautiful little species he is. You can just see just there, absolutely beautiful. So mate, I'm going to give you a bit of a release, what do you reckon? Yeah, found you. <laughs> 